Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Cross Fiction Show 101. My name is Preston. Today, showing you, we have Keelan. And we're going to be watching some Xavier McKinney with you guys today. He is a safety from the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, listed officially now as of the combine. He just measured, I think, yesterday or today. At 6 foot 3 8, 201 pounds, 8 and 5 and 8. Eight inch hands. Those are pretty small hands. Uh, 30 and 78 inch arms and 75 and a half inch wingspan. So, any thoughts on his measurables? Other than what you mentioned, small hands. Um, the height seems good, the weight seems alright. And. Yet. The hands. Like you said, are small, but other than that, it seems all right, good for safety. Well, cool. so he's a third-year junior, declared early uh, team captain in 2019, which is fantastic. Uh, also, I love hearing about this as well. Very, very nice to see that, especially from the Alabama program that emphasizes uh, pro readiness and development. So, and that being said, we have three games to check out today. Arkansas, Auburn, and LSU. Uh, so you said that you haven't seen any McKinney tape yet? I have not at all. Sweet. So we're both going into this fresh. I haven't yet either. Cool. I did see a couple of games live, of course. So I'm yeah. pretty familiar, as I am with all Alabama players. Oh, I like downhill pursuit. He looks small. Is that just me? Um, he looks a little small. Maybe it's just Jersey being tucked in, but he looks tiny. Let's just be a Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so they do have him playing over the top quite a bit, which is good. I guess the range is to play that. One high. That's the one thing that does kind of suck about watching safeties is that you don't necessarily get to see them when they're in deep. That was nice. Good contested situation here, man. This does a nice job of being physical at the stem. Drop. Okay, nice patience again with the drop. Good diagnostics in this program. It's a pretty nice shot of coming downhill for the most part as well. Oh, nice. I like that delay. Sold that blitz. He got back there quick, too. Okay, nice shell coverage. And on the outside. 
Let's see if we can swing the block there. Okay, good clean drop. Oh, nice catch. Nice gap display and very well done. Just stays patient, stays in that B, and forces the redirects the ring outside. Excellent. So we'll just see that from the safety. Okay, challenging over the top, and yeah. Oh, nice. I like that reaction time. Able to man up that tight end. Is that Trey Diggs? Yep. <coughs> nice. He's awesome. I like him. Yeah, I love him. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, especially from a safety, he's going to take on that block from number seven, get around, and then force the boundary. Very nice. Yeah, good gap discipline. <coughs> he's doing a pretty good job in that particular category so far. Especially from the safety. Oh, I like that swivel over the top. Yeah, he definitely has the, the block thing I want to see from the safety. That's really good. <coughs> oh, missed tackle. Okay. Tech, please. Maybe. Over. Okay. Shed or something, or at least eat the block. It's fine. That was a really terrible play by the ref. The ref just completely gets right in his way. That's not cool. Good grief. It doesn't end up affecting the play, but still. Really bad. So, your thoughts to the first game? Interesting. Um, he looks pretty solid, honestly. Um, I like him coming downhill. He's good over the top. He just seems overly just solid to me. Okay. Yeah, you can see the athleticism. We don't have official combine statistics yet, but you can really see them flash that. That was, oh, that's really nice. That's one of my favorite CG plays I've seen on tape this year so far. While she's starting out in the back over the top here. On the right side, you, you see him coming down downhill here, playing the alley. And he just undercuts that and then gets a nice solid tackle, dash hit. Oh, again, very nice coverage. We're playing, looks like cover four or cover two, some variation over the top. 
and someone shallow didn't drop deep enough. He has to come. We, well, for some reason, he's staying down when he's supposed to be there. Uh, but he let this guy pass him, and you see Bob Nix look at that opening read, and McKinney comes over, and it's kind of off camera, but you can tell what happened. He took away uh, that wide open throw on the boundary. That's really nice coverage from McKinney. Nice underneath leverage, nice zone to drop. Yep. Okay, like the idea. Nice play in the alley again. Okay, nice coverage, but didn't recognize the QB run. Come down. Stay patient. Yep, good. Same thing. Very nice. Terrible call, but I like how, again, McKinney stays, stays patient, waits for the receiver to run his route, and then transition using follows. Attack or not. Okay, nice job again. Patience. Good. most likely. Very nice. Took away that middle of the field read. Over the top and one high, I think. Nice job getting around the block. Definitely has that kind of quickness. Well, you change direction to avoid those. Okay. So, I like how he reads this gap and he is in the right position. But he's a little bit too direct with the angle, or a little bit too wide with the angle, I should say. And he uh, he ends up correcting it with a nice force fumble. But he's a little bit too far outside. We talked about this in the McKinney video a couple of minutes ago in real time, uh, Keelan. But he gets a little bit too far outside. We'd like to see him ideally stay a little bit more centered and take away both angles, the inside ring and the outside, and force them to run at you instead of just past you, but he ends up doing a nice job of getting that hand in and knocking the ball loose. So it ends up working out, just not the most ideal of yeah. pathways to that success. I like his stance, he's doing a pretty nice job with the base there. Nice patience again. Same thing. That blitz play? Okay. Nice 
Next transition coverage. Forcing a throwaway. Or not. I thought that was a throwaway. Over the top single high. Ooh, did he catch that? Dang. Covers on. Yep. Drop. Here you go. Good play on the gains part. Nice patience. Good contest. Really nice job of staying facing steam tight. Okay, let's change the direction with the pedal drive. Nice gap re uh, recognition. Nicely pushing the stack, nicely done. Just doing really a nice shovel against those stack books. Oh, that was great play rack. Watch how early he reads this play. He's already moving over to follow the motion. X snap point. He already reads this play. And Wall hasn't even gotten into the quarterback's hands. And then at this point in the play, he sees the sway and he's attacking downhill. Very nice. <coughs> he makes the tackle too. Doesn't Beautiful. Even just force him out. Okay. Nice smooth drop. Probably could have taken a little bit, a little bit better of an angle, but not that bad. Okay, nice drop. Nice shot forcing that incompletion. Stays pretty tight and fights through the rep at the top. Nice clean drop. Forced to throw away the coverage across the board. Alley? Ugh, oh, okay. Well, again, a little bit passive with the angle there, so that's something I'd probably work the most with him on. Uh, is making sure he's aggressive and direct with those angles, but you don't over pursue either. It's all about reading that. Nice try. Nice job staying free. Good communicator on the back end, love to see that. Play the alley again. Good. Nice. Okay, nice transition. down. Nice coverage on McKinney's part. Forcing that second read. 35, you're most likely looking for the short route. He takes that away and stays tight. Nicely done. Flicks? Nope, so long. Nice. I love his pitches against that stack look.
I just started playing the alley. Missed the tackle, but whatever. Uh, and instead of uh, taking an angle this time, it's something I've emphasized a couple times this video. Doesn't get too over aggressive and stays. But honestly, that could probably be targeting. Or helmet to helmet. He did lose his helmet in the play, too. Nice gap discipline. I'm pretty good about that so far. Nice shot. Good patience. Easy. So, thoughts on his second game versus Auburn? Honestly, if there's nothing he's all that bad at, he's been... He's good in coverage. I really like him against the run with his angles and him just getting down to the backfield. And I know he just he just looks really good. Here we go, another game against LSU. I've been watching a lot of LSU tape this year. Ah, oh, see, I've talked about this two or three times already. I really want to see him flatten this, especially at this point in the play. He gets caught open, way open. And it leads to him getting easily juked out. You've got to fix that score up issue. That's by far been the biggest weakness. Negative, pod, area of improvement, however you want to phrase it. Mm -hmm. For me so far. Because that's going to lead to a lot of missed tackles if that keeps up. It's not a tackling issue, it's an angle dash. I don't want to say even awareness. That was nice. Issue, it's, it's kind of just uh, adjusting. Okay, it's clean tackling. Again, when he's actually in position, he's doing a pretty good job with the tackling. That's pretty good tackling for him, especially for a safety. I want to mention that when I said, when I mentioned his angles being sort of strong, I was talking about more open field rather than tight space. Yeah. They're really dialing up a lot of pressure looks in Sparrow. They were pretty confident in that what they worked out too. Good decision to stay. Nice transition coverage. Down. Keep. Okay. 
I don't know why he looks so small. It must be the fact that he has his jersey tucked. Like, even compared to Trey Diggs, I get that Diggs is a, a significantly large corner, but... Oh. He looks closer to, like, 5'10 than 6 foot. That was nice. Good gap discipline. Bam, physical. Matches that Edward Solaire physicality. It's good to see. It could just be a singer of gravity thing. I mean, I guess. Pursuit, nice. Good tackle. Yes. Very nice. The same thing. He opens up too quickly. At this point in the play, he needs to start getting square. And he stays open at this point in the play. You gotta square him up. Work on that. That leverage and maintaining that, uh, that positioning tips. The guy would not be a good basketball player. He's going to get his ankles broken. Oh, someone broke that. This after footwork. Just playing through. Great gap discipline. Excellent job rigging again. He's doing a really, really nice job uh, in that area. The man coverage on the back. Take away that read. Nice patience, especially in their RPO look. Nice motor in pursuit. Good tackle, too. Okay, flipping. Nice defense look. Good move. Situational awareness, like to see that. Blitz or drop? Drop. Keep, keep, okay. Good drop, good coverage, forcing the scramble drill. Nice! It's a little bit of uh, blocking release, and because of that, he gets the releases a little bit too early. That Moss does, and he shoots that, and you really get to see the, the first step, the burst, quickness, explosiveness, all those fun, fancy words. Uh, but the athletic ability, just in general, that he possesses. Closing speed, range. Next transition, great adjustment to that route concept. Same thing. Get inside or not, you don't have to. Was that him that made that play? That was too long. So. Nice transition coverage by him. 
You just need to shove them coming down and taking away them whilst underneath. Shove taking away that back. It's either going to be on the tight end back or drop. Or blitz. Could be a blitz call. Yep, they moss. Same thing, probably may end up with moss. Oh no, it's a pack. Cross me. Okay. Okay. Sun not getting moved back. Pretty good anchor for a safety. Covers across the board. Nice. Yep. Again, you get to see the quickness, the burst, all the athleticism, words, fancy, yada yada, blah blah. But you, oh, that's awesome. He just shoots through great first step, and the burst, the explosiveness, the quickness forces a turnover. Excellent. He should go in sub four four tomorrow. If something's doing four three nine, he should be in about that range. Yeah, like between four three seven or four three nine. Honestly, he really nice show seeing discipline and coverage for that long. He had to cover, stay back a long time. At least to be inside his shoulder. Okay. Pretty good for a nickel. He's a little late on the redirect, but that's fine. I like prefer him to be patient rather than too aggressive. Same thing on that swing out too. He gave tons of space, but I'd rather be pacing and stay this one than be too aggressive. Great route concept. I mean, I will see you. Great heavy spacing traffic, but this transition giving should be back here though. Okay, I like how he sees the swing as the force here. He does a great job of sealing this outside lane in case Pearl decides to keep. And maintains a pretty solid positioning here while reading the play. Pretty good zone. Nice. I'll take that. 
a little bit off. He stays a li gets a little bit outside on the spin, but at least he finishes this time. It's patience. Nice cap discipline, there you go. Excellent. There's a new shot we're seeing in that area. And coming underneath and then making the play, making the tackle. Nice job staying discipline coverage. Great backside pursuit, but you gotta square up. He gets caught going too far inside and he just Guys around him and makes a mess. Easy touchdown. You've got to stay disciplined when you tackle. He's been doing pretty well in that area with his gap discipline. Mentally, he's been doing pretty good in that area in coverage. But you cannot be too aggressive when you tackle either. Or you're going to miss. Great RPO concept. I'm shooting from right here, I thought. Yeah. Nice gap shoot, nice stack. Good tackle as well. Good zone coverage. Nice force play. Okay, nice swing shot. A little bit too tight on the force. Overcommits a little bit too much to the run, just gotta be aware that that could be a keep. Especially on third and short. Probably a monster reply here. Good shed. Just gotta finish the tackle. Anchor a little bit better too. So, there is our three games of Xavier McKinney. Your thoughts? Um, basically what I said the, the last few games, I think he's pretty good against the run, great in coverage, really good athlete. Um, I think he's just, all in all, um, a really good safety. Um, I haven't really gone around to much of... Delpit's tape this season. Last season, he was one of the top guys on my board. But with the injuries, and from what I saw this season, real time, I, f I feel like McKinney has a strong chance of surpassing Delpit when I get to more of his 2020 tape. I'm not placing a whole lot of stock in Delpit's 19 tape. Because the injuries, for one. Right. So I feel like he's a lot closer to what we saw in playoff when he was yeah. healthier and didn't miss any tackles uh, 
So I didn't really too too concerned about them. What's the other one? Yeah, too too concerned about Delpit compared to some of the other people. Right. Now, I'll, I'm still, like I said, yet to go get into the 2019 stuff, so I can't really assume I'm going to have one over the other, but... Well, your tackling is going to be weaker, and he doesn't look as athletic. There's really the two big differences. His coverage was still the same. Right. He still has cool. the same mentality and mental traits. But, yeah, he's not as good with tackler last year, and he was not as good in uh, athleticism. So, my breaks for McKinney. I'm going to go for 15 tackling. Definitely an area I want to see him improve. He just really can't be missing those tackles. And it's all about just making sure that you stay disciplined uh, with your tackling technique. Man coverage is fine. Uh, didn't really stand out there, but I was... Not really too concerned or anything like that either. Same thing as zone, really nice job dropping back, very smooth, clean, disciplined, uh, recognized as, as receiver, all that kind of stuff. Athleticism was very good, not Isaiah Simmons, but very solid across the board. Uh, really pleased with him in that area, and intangibles and mental traits are, I'm mean, gonna go to 20. Uh, incredible, solid, nice job of. of Staying disciplined, aside from the tackling, but I took off tackling points for that. Uh, and yeah, coverage, versatile, no injuries, good character, everything like that. So uh, pretty easy there. So uh, I don't know how you do great safeties, but while I calculate my score, I'll let you talk about that. All right. Um, from what I'm seeing on yours, I'm... I'll do my grades in a, in a bit. I'm just going to take a look at what you have here. and I think it's fair. I, I agree on the tackling. Sort of in between Isaiah and Duggar is fair. I feel like he's not nearly as bad as Duggar, but he's not fully developed. And I think there's a lot of improvement he needs to be done. In terms of like your coverage grades, I think that's good for him. Athleticism, I'd probably lean to myself if I'm using this board. I'd personally give him a 20, but 19 is fair. And yeah, especially while. Well, yeah. I don't think he's going to hit like a, a 11 inch or 11 foot broad. And, True. Uh, what, 39 inch True. Broad. 19's very fair as well, so I'm not. So, all in all, I think very fair grade for him on there. What'd you give him? I haven't given him anything. Hold on. I'll... So, yeah, I think that this is about right. I ended up giving him a 91, uh, which is a little bit below Delphi and quite a bit below Isaiah Simmons. Uh, but I still borderline-ish, well, it will be a first round grade for me this year because I ended up moving my scale. But it's not going to be in your elite tier first round grades like your siblings, like your youngs, like your uh, Okugas and, and Brown. But uh, still in, in kind of that second to third tier of guys uh, in your range with like your, your well, even with the injury to a I have a 90. Uh, who else do I have in that range? Uh, I think Ebenezer is around there. Ebenezer is a little bit higher. Uh, Gladney is in that, in that group. Tristan Worst is in that group. Uh, Kent Murray a little bit below. Will's a little bit above. I'll probably drop Ebenezer a little bit because it was a combine. But, so he'll probably be in that range too. You have yours done yet? Uh, yeah, I gave him a 93. Cool. So, your thoughts overall? Yeah, um, like I said, the the coverage is good, the athleticism is good. I really like what I saw off the field as well on the... At the beginning. 
Cool. So, and that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this along the way. Uh, been pretty fun combine week so far. Busy, but very fun. Uh, I've really learned a lot about a lot of these guys, and going back and rewatching the tape on them has been uh, a really nice experience so far. So, and that means that I hope you guys enjoyed this one, learned a thing or two. Uh, like and subscribe for more future content like this coming up after the combine as well. Uh, but for now, have a fantastic rest of your day and peace out.